Hey folks, how are we going? I'm talking about strawberries. I said, let's get the cameras out and start filming me dividing my strawberries. These are the ones that I had in the private gardens, I like to call them, around the house, around the hedging there. I dug these up, I don't know, six months ago. I threw them on the other side of the little English box hedge and just forgot all about them. And there you are, have a look at this. Strawberries hanging everywhere. They're all starting to produce strawberries. Out of the ground, this is how they are. Look, dry, just sitting on the lawn area. Um, and I, as I started to divide it, I thought, let's talk about divisions and the purpose of it and the importance of dividing it because you get a lot of runners and that's where all your new strawberries come from. But <laughs> as I was dividing, I said, let's also talk about what eats strawberries, what, what, what animals love it, what creatures love them. And now we know birds love them, rabbits love them. Uh, did you know <laughs> this? Look at that. Someone's been feasting pretty well over here. What do you call that? You call it a fat bastard, that's what it is. It's a slug. We've got slugs in here living in the roots of the strawberries. Now, they come out early, early in the morning, late in the afternoon. And if you come in close here, look at that slime in there. See that? Can you see that slime there? If we look around and hunt around, I might be able to divide this. I can't actually. This is, oh yeah, there is. Look at that. We've got butchy boys in here. In there wait let me get it sorry let me get my little pocket knife and just make a little bit of a movement here where are we oh it's a slug no it is there it is i call them butcher boys curl grubs or whatever i don't know what do you call them yeah just uh, bullets or marbles anyway we've got lots of those i'm no expert at those names mr ken dr ken walker is but what i do want to show you also is besides the slugs there's another one there is that? Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> so we've got slaters, we've got slugs. We also have, is it on this one? It's not on this one, it's actually on this one here. Down here. The one with ripening strawberries, working their way up to feast on it. We've also got centipedes, look. Can you see them there? They do a lot of damage too. They're living in the soil. There we are. There it is, there's one there. And there's another one there, and there's, there's a colony of slugs and centipedes and butchy boys and whatever wonderful creatures this wonderful planet of ours has, and they can live right at the bottom of it there. Look at that. That's right in there, right at the base of the strawberry. So, and if you're wondering what's eating your strawberries, well, these are the main culprits, and there's literally dozens and dozens. Yeah, I'm throwing them in here because this barrow is going straight to the chook house and I'm gonna sit here and pull them all out as best I can. I ain't gonna get them all. I wouldn't spray them. I wouldn't be looking for an insecticide or sort of spray or anything like that to spray them with. I'd literally just try and clean it as best you can. And mulch them. This is what I've done over here. I just found these old timbers at the uh, local pet store supplies. They were getting rid of them. I said, I'll grab them. Filled them up with soil. They're just two pieces of timber with little noggins in between. Bit of composted soil. Planted me strawberries in here. I've just divided them as you can see and put mulch around them because you don't want, these are basically flowers with the seeds on the outside. See that, that touched the soil. That's all dirty now. That's gonna be hard to clean. So you, you don't want your strawberries sitting on exposed soil. You want a bit of mulch underneath them, whether it's pea straw, sugar cane, whatever mulch you like. Put something down as a bed there so they can actually grow on them or raise them up in like wall planters or raised garden beds like this so they can cascade over the sides. And once you've done planting them like that, Eco Boost and Liquid Gold. And if you really do want big strawberries, sprinkle a little bit of black grit around them. And that's what I'm gonna do with these. You can put it on top of the mulch as well, folks. So don't think you can't apply the black grit on top of the mulch. Yes, you can. Just give it a good water and it will work its way through down, down to the soil where it needs to do its job and the magic begins. So black grit, Eco Boost and Liquid Gold and you'll have beautiful, sweet, delicious strawberries. Bloody birds will eat. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't look after them. That's what we're gonna do here, look after them now. Check out our website and don't forget our TV show. It's on at 2 p.m. today. And if you're watching and listening at this very moment as we just uploaded it, switch over to 3AW and listen to us on there with Darren James about the gardening program. Give us a call if you've got a garden problem and it's our buy one, get one free with a bonus 20% off everything online. Sign up to the VIP. There's a lot of information here, I know. Sign up to the VIP magazine before the end of the month. Get your 20 points back, your reward points back 
and go into the draw for the major prize. Two and a half, twelve hundred and five hundred dollar prize to be given away at the end of the month. That's VasiliesGarden.com. From me, Vasili, Maresi. You want a strawberry? <laughs> Didn't think so.